Hey y'all, welcome back. Uh, I had a little uh, equipment malfunction with my big shock compressor, so I had to run and grab me another one because I got things I got to do. So I went and got me a little backup. I use my big one for the plasma cutter and uh, you know shop stuff and all that, but I don't have anything lined up on plasma in the next couple days till my parts get in. So I thought I'd get me a backup. I needed one anyway because you can't drag that big old 30 gallon around easily. So I got the Dewalt nailer and compressor combo kit. Got a Home Depot thing. Was it a deal? I don't know, but not bad for that. Uh, three gallon compressor, uh, nailer, and 25 foot of hose. So I can use all those. I got a little nail gun, but it's it's getting to the end of its life. Little uh, 18 gauge brad nailer, I guess, not really a nail gun. So, what the heck, I went ahead and got it, picked it up. Yeah, your typical operator's manual instructions. The, the whole kit is the DWFP 55126. And uh, so, we're gonna take it out and take a look at it and see what we got. Pretty light, the whole bag and all, a whole box and all, seem pretty light. And we got our, got our book there, nail gun. So, there it is, a little compact model, little pancake, six gallons, 165 PSI, uh, 2.6 square cubic feet a minute, which is a little low for plasma, but you know, my other stuff. I got uh, I got my air assist on my laser, so I need the air. And just had to have one, so I thought I'd go ahead and just get it and get it over with. Got the little 110 volt thin connector cable plug in, which is obviously not a very heavy duty operation because you try that on a bigger motor and it wouldn't even start it, I don't think. Let's plug her in and see. Are we off? Yeah, let's go ahead and turn it off. And we'll get an idea of what the what the sound's like. Crank it on. Let's drop her down a little bit. We don't need all that already. Not super loud, but still makes a little noise. Alright, that's enough of that. Well, look here though. Here's a here's an update. You never see a hose with the fittings already put on there, so that's a good sign. And let's take a look at the nail gun while we got it open. And nail gun comes with its own manual, and what else we got in there? Look at there. Handy pencil sharpener comes with it. As a bonus. <laughs> so there you go. I checked these prices. Uh, I looked through Amazon and uh, I'll put some links in the bottom if you want to buy anything separately. Or, But the Amazon price and the tools and the hose, it all added up about the same. So really you're not getting much of a deal if you buy it separately or all together maybe 10 bucks but like I said I had to have it I needed it and there it is out of the box that hose is kinda got that soft rubber but not rubber synthetic maybe I guess all right, so we'll check it out alright we'll check it out plug her in air her up and see what we got we'll be back Alright guys, now let's see what it takes to get this thing filled up. I just ran it once and it, uh, it filled up pretty quick. So we're going to run a little stopwatch on it. And we'll get a little tester to see how quick she goes. Mind the noise, I'll see if I can get the volume down in the video. <laughs> Alright, three, two, one.
There you go. Three minutes, five seconds to get up to 165 PSI. So, well, not bad. I mean, it is what it is. You're looking for a portable air tank to really just run nailers and stuff like that. Let me show you something I did check, though. Where we go? Oh, right there. Put your hose in. Let's go 80 PSI. And what do I do with it? Right there. Got my little shop duster for right around the the CNC table. And check this. So So if you're looking to do a lot of shop clean out and blowing out, you're you're going to be in for a treat on this one because. But it's really not made for that. Like I said, it's a it's a nailer and uh, little stuff inflate your tires. All right, now we'll test it with a little bit of uh, nail action here. I got the 18 gauge Brad nailer. I got some uh, I think these are one and a quarter inch Brad nails loaded up. We'll just give it a shot. Give it a little try. This is just some cedar I got laying around. I do a lot of cedar work, so. Goes in, goes through. So yeah, let's see what we can do. So there you go, approximately 55 nails, 55 brads before she recycled and kicked back on. So you get a lot of work done with that. Well, there it is. That's what I got. I'm going to hook it up on my air assist on my laser and I'll just have it around for backup when I need to go out for installs and stuff, put stuff together. And then hopefully my parts will be in soon. I just saw the FedEx guy drive by, so maybe I'll, uh, I'll be lucky and my parts will be in. I get my other big one back going. I think my uh, uh, reed valves corroded up and won't shut and seal off it'll make about 40 psi and then it won't load anymore but there you go the dewalt six gallon compressor nail gun hose combo kit thanks for watching i hope it helps uh if you got any questions shoot me down in the comments like i say i'll leave some links and you can compare prices whatever you want to do and uh thanks for watching hope that helps y'all and have a great day stay cool people it's hot down here in texas Alright guys, there you go. It's a little quick recap on the specs of this 6 gallon pancake style compressor from DeWalt. Uh, 165 max PSI, 2.6 cubic standard cubic feet a minute at 90 PSI. And the decibel level reading from the factory says 78.5. Uh, it's pretty loud, but it's not screeching loud like some of the old oilless compressors. Uh, you got your two uh, quick connect outputs for your hose connections and then the regulated pressure knob up here. Uh, quick gauge to see what your pressure is. A blow off valve standard on all your compressors anymore. And then a drain for the bottom of the tank for condensation in there. I got her hooked up in the office on my laser right now and we're working away so Thanks for watching, guys. I've got links in the description, and if you like it and want to see more, subscribe, and I'll keep putting these out. Thanks for watching.